Oh, that's not good meteor position. Mind blank. All right, let's see if we win. Ooh. Nice little raptors. Oh, baby. Boom! Here we go. Here we go. How many? 20? That'd be 20. 21. On today's surviving standard, the name of the deck is Garrosh the Ripper here in Warrior. After crafting a second copy of a Void Ripper for Priest, and we were doing it in Druid along with other classes, we ended up in Warrior. And I think the best thing to do in Warrior is to flip exactly Enraged Minions. Minions like Imani Berserker and Frothing Berserker. If you can turn to Berserker, Enrage it, go face with a 7-2, and then flip it on turn 3 with a Void Ripper, that's a pretty cool start there. You have a little 2-7 uh, that can get Enraged again and threaten your opponent really well. The Blood Razor, very important card. In fact, probably the most important card in an Enraged deck as it has a, a Whirlwind on both sides. We're going to double down on getting Blood Razors by including a copy of Forge of Souls. Ideally, we play the Forge of Souls to draw exactly the two weapons in the deck, both of the Blood Razors. Zazas First Mate and Patches the Pirate, very important. Turn 1 play against the Paladin matchup. They're also going to extremely help the early Frothing Berserker as the 1-1s one represent to attack. Cornered Sentry is in the deck. The 2-6 has great synergy with both Frothing and Razor, especially if your opponent doesn't trade in those 1-1s one on turn 2. You can kind of get them maybe by coining out a Blood Razor or playing a Frothing and trading and, and starting to grow the Berserker really quickly. Also, later in the game, the deck includes Cyclopean Horror as a defensive Sengen type card that can also combo later on with the Sentry. It wouldn't be an Enraged deck without the Enraged Father, of course, Rot Face, who could possibly squeeze you out another Legendary or two with a timely flip from the Void Ripper. Sunborn Valkyrie is in the deck because it has a decent burst opportunity with the Ripper, and it's going to basically serve to keep your Enraged minions on the field as long as possible. In a deck of mediocre cards, Scourge Lord Garrosh is easily the best way to close out games, and it might be correct to keep him in the mulligan in a variety of matchups. Oh, that's like the god hand. I'm gonna keep this because uh, we're gonna be able to, we're gonna be able to survive because of these two cards, right? So we'll just keep that. I think. I imagine we will. We'll, we'll see. I actually kind of like that he has that just because it gives me something to do with this because we're going to need to do that eventually. So getting use out of this is amazing. I think that's worth it because we're, we're not going to coin this out yet. So... Might as well get some damage going. Oh, is he going to hit twice? Interesting. Oh, he thinks I'm pirate. He thinks I'm pirates, right? Oh, wow. Yeah, he thinks I'm pirates, so he doesn't know that that 1-1 one -one is literally just a 1-1-1, a one -one -one -one, right? It was a pretty bad draw, to be fair, right? We're gonna, we're gonna need to do that, I imagine. Oh god. We can somehow save this for that, that'd be good. We'll see. Because this is pretty good already. He's shown his cards here. He's a combo deck, right? Although, that's not a combo card per se. He has no spells. We can confirm he has no spells. So, I can, uh, we can draw two. We can trade, attack, draw two. 
I could execute that thing. Oh my god, those are some huge guys. I guess I'm glad I kept that. <laughs> oh my god. That might be fine because we can still like double whirlwind and whirlwind have a whirlwind ready for that. This guy will come in handy for Put sure. Four four juggler, good god. My Void Ripper, well met. just to like save some damage. Yeah. Reporting for duty. I don't think we can rot face because we're going to die. Oh man. Although, if we do this, we can rot like whirlwind rot face later. We just don't get the dream. I can't armor and attack like we can't attack it because I can armor up first. What now? We die to consecrate though. We do this. This dies, this dies, this goes to three. I think it's worth three health to have a three one. I could be wrong. Oh, that's that's a draw. I have an axe to grind. You cannot run. I'll, I'll save that because it represents a card. It, represents, it does represent a card. Cons it makes Consecrate really good, though. Hmm. We got Battle Rage, draw three, versus Rot Face Whirlwind. We haven't seen Equality yet. He's definitely playing Equality, I think. Although we know that's not Equality. What? Any, at any point, I die to Uther if I don't have a taunt. So maybe we have to get taunts, huh? Also, that's a taunt. Oh, wow. Look at this combo. Nice little raptors. We don't die to Uther. We die to Concert Consecrate, though. Oh, man. He would have Consecrated a long time ago, wouldn't he? Have? Oh. All right, well, no. He's got no, um... Actually, how much damage is this? Holy shit. Is this Void Ripper lethal? So we got 3, 5, 8, 12, plus 9, plus 5. Oh, that's got to be lethal. Start because we can we can even do that. All right. Start running. You cannot me. I will purify the fallen. Reality creeps. Run for it. 
combos. <laughs> Thanks for making it to the end of the video, guys. If you want to see more of this deck, please click on the link to the left. If you want to see more decks in this series, click on the link to the right. And if you want to see the channel grow, please click that subscribe button in the middle. To watch me build the decks live, I'm on Twitch. Follow the link below. Thanks, guys, and I will see you next time.